We'll guide you through how to enter safe mode on your PS4. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like and let's jump into this. So first off, as you can see, we are in the main menu for PlayStation 4. Then we slowly navigate over to our PlayStation and we hold down the power button that is right here until we make sure that it turns off. Let's see, we are still holding the button. And now our PlayStation is turning off. We wait for our PlayStation to turn off completely and not make any sound. And for the for this right here to stop blinking. Let's see, I'll be back as soon as that happens. And now we are back, as you can see, the light is no longer blinking. So now the next step is we press and hold the power button until we hear the second beep. Let's see. And we heard the second beep and now we'll let go of the button. And now we should slowly boot into the safe mode. As you can see, it's asking me to connect the DualShock 4 using the USB cable and then press the USB button. For this, you will need to use your PlayStation charger that comes with your PlayStation. You take it and then you plug it into your PlayStation. Then you take the other part and you plug it into your controller. Let's plug it in. And now after I have plugged it in, I just press the PS button. And as you, as you can see, we are currently in save mode. Let me change the angle so you can see better. Be right back. And as you can see now, we are back. I have set up a better angle for you to see. The first option we have is re restart PS4. This option will allow you to exit save mode as soon as possible. Just It will just restart your PS4. Then we have the change resolution option, which makes your resolution... Uh, adaptable to any uh, monitor or TV that you have. Then we have the update system software uh, option. It That option will help you install some updates that you haven't installed yet. We have the restore default settings. This relates to screen settings, uh, sound settings, etc. Et so basic stuff you will most likely keep every in your uh, console. Next up, we have Rebuild Database, and this will be used in case you have any errors or corrupt files in your PlayStation 4 and you don't want to delete your whole system. So that will be used to find and repair those and rebuild the PS4 database. Next up, we have the Initialize uh, PS4. This helps you uh, basically fully reset your PS4. It will only keep the foundation system uh, inside of it so everything will be deleted besides the founding uh, ps4 software that your console came with when you bought it and the last one it deletes everything completely it deletes also the founding uh, foundation software it you will need to install the foundation software using a usb stick back again so i wouldn't uh, touch anything here unless you know what you're doing that is it for this video. To return back to your PC, to your uh, PlayStation, you select the first option and then you press the X button. Uh, that option is restart PS4. Now sh we should be coming back to our PS4. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.